Hey, it's Midnight Raven, and today I want to do a video about Fear Unique. So, Fear Unique is a free sample service. Um, you have to pay the three ninety five, which is the postal charge. You get five items in it, which you choose yourself, um, which I think is really cool, and that's five items. Um, anything from makeup samples, face cream, shampoos, perfumes. You do get the three ninety five back, not in real money, but you do get it in an email to then spend on more items within the store, but you cannot get another pick and mix, but you can use it on other products that they sell. So the three ninety five is to cover the five items, and like I said, they do give you an email. To spend on more items you can only get it once a month it kind of sucks because i'd get it more often um but you could use a different email maybe to get round it like use your partners use your sons and you might be able to order more i haven't tried that yet but that might be a really cool idea to see if i could register my son and do it like that and then i could get more so i might try that mm, good idea. i only just thought of that to be honest so this month it's come in an envelope, which is different. Usually it comes in like a box and it opens. This month it, it's just an envelope. I'm a bit, eh, I don't know. But let's open it and take a look. So three ninety five for four five something yeah, three ninety five for five samples. Um, you do get a little envelope inside that says just for you with special offers from people that partner with um, Feel Unique. And then we have the items. I will just show you this because it doesn't usually have a lot in, I must admit. Um, the two things that they have here, which they could actually save money and give the box and then not send these out. But you have to promote somehow. We have Bloom and Wild. It's ten pounds off your first order, so it's just a flowery delivery service. You can see it there for yourself and use them if you want. And then these ones are greys, and they give you a free box um, when you first order, and you get your fifth box free. We've actually just done this um, for my son, so hopefully that should be good. But there are two codes there which you can use. There we go. So that's that bit done. Now let's get into the perfumes. Now I've ordered all perfumes this month. I'm looking for perfumes to take away um, in October and samples are a great way of taking perfumes with you without having to take huge chunky bottles. So I got five all together. So in there there is this little card. The light is not cooperating today. It's 25 degrees outside, so I'm having to deal with the sun. So, Feel Unique Pick and Mix 5. It says, whoop, your pick and mix is here. Don't forget to check your dispatch email to find out how you can claim back the shipping, which is what I told you earlier. If you adore any of these, let us know. Join the hashtag Fun Squad and share experiences on Instagram or Twitter. So, you check your dispatch email for your gift voucher to redeem against any other products, but not using the pick and mix. Which is annoying because I think I choose it quite often. So, here is the little cheat sheet. You do get a little cheat sheet saying everything that you've ordered, um, just to make sure you've got the right sample. So, let's take a look at the first one. So, they all come like this all little cards one, two, three, four. Five. So, five all together, and let's do this one because this is the one I wanted when I ordered it. And this is the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Midnight Eau de Parfum. This is 1.2 uh, mils. I love the packaging. Look at that. It's just a sample, but the packaging is just so cool, and I love Victor and Rolf's. Oh, Rolf, sorry. I love their fashion and their culture. So I was like, I need to try their perfume. Just, just have to. So the actual thing itself, 
you just tear down the line if you can get it to go like this and then inside looks like this so this is what the actual bottle looks like how cool is that and it's got like a little flower detail I absolutely love it the sun is not cooperating and looks like this and then you get your little sample so these are only little spritzers they've got virtually nothing in at all look. but I do love perfume so this is flower bomb midnight which is kind of cool because my channel is midnight raven I have a cat called midnight uh, so let's try We'll let that disperse for a minute and then we'll be able to see what it's like. But I love the design, absolutely, I love this bottle design. It is so cute. Um, oh, it's to die for. It's got such a floral aroma. I know it's called Flower Bomb, but it's very light. It's not like overpowering. You could wear this and get away with it wearing it at work, at home, even just to the supermarket. You'd probably get people go, ooh, what's that scent? I love that. I, I'd buy this bottle. I really would buy the bottle. I'm going to have to check out the name. Um, so the next one, I've never heard of these, this person before. This says Kirin. It's like this. A really cool, unique one. Now, there was a couple of these. But I went for the Nitro Noir. Nitro Noir. You're going to have to bear with the sun. There's literally nothing I can do. Nitro Noir. Um, there was like two or three different ones. Uh, this is an Eau de Parfum. Again, 1.5 mils. This says, stepping out of the yellow cab into the street. I am fashionably late for my rendezvous with the pink berry martini. Make my way through the crowd. My sweet and spicy tones. Um, pheromones leave onlookers in my wake. Impossible to resist. Glossy lip shine in the moonlight. The noir light will be mine. So I'm not really quite sure. I'm guessing it's sweet and juicy tones. Okay. So we will spray this further up my arm. I can't spray them all on my wrists, obviously, because um, I'd... Uh, <laughs> we'll be in a trial five. So this is Kirin. There was a couple of these, but hmm, it's. I see what they mean about spicy. It's got kind of a. Mm, I'm trying to think of what it smells like. I've smelled something like it, but I just can't put my finger on it. It's more. I want to say a more mature smell. Um, but it does have a bit of a kick to it, I must admit. There is that spicy kind of overtones. It is kind of overpowering. But that's the Kieran one. K-I-E-R-I-N. Like my son. My son's called Kieran. And this is like Kieran. But yeah, good one. Okay, next we have Caroline um, Herrera which looks like this and then inside the bottle is just I mean look at that it looks fabulous and this is cool um good girl now I haven't seen any adverts of this um or sometimes you get like adverts on YouTube or Google um I've never heard of Carolina before the new feminine fragrance so apparently they have more this is a Good Girl Perfume Natural Spray, 1.5 mils. It doesn't tell me anything on the inside. Um, it doesn't say what the fragrance is. Um, ingredients don't really give it away. It just says aqua on that, so I'm guessing it's going to be like a clean smell. Um, you do get some perfumes that go for a clean smell. We'll leave that to settle for a minute. But yeah, um, these samples aren't huge uh, by any stretch of the imagination. They are literally like tiny samples. And it does sound like a lot to pay £4, but you are getting like 
brand name Couture perfumes. Mm. So this one's got like a kind of aqua clean water smell. It is light. Um, it's not my kind of perfume. I like the more floral tones, but it is nice. And the bottle does look kind of unique and different. Um, but yeah, that's the Carolina one. <clears throat> the next one we have is this Guralian Paris Santa Royale. Ooh, the sample has actually fallen out, so we'll just take that out of that. So it looks like this. And then inside, that is the bottle. How cute is that? It's just like adorable. It's not as cute as the Victor Rolf one. So this is the Guralian Santa Royale one um, mil. Um, it's a love parfum. It says for this creation, uh, they drew inspiration from treasures of the East and reworked one of the rarest and most precious. Um, Ingredients in the world, sandalwood. Mm. So it's an oriental fragrance with sandalwood with dark tones of leather, wood, and the luminous floral notes of jasmine and rose. And it comes in this cute little black one that is just adorable. So we've got jasmine, uh, rose, wood, and sandalwood. So I'll give it a spray. And we'll give that a sec. So I don't usually go for like oriental tones, wood tones, spicy tones, anything like that. I'm more of a floral, fragrant, perfumery kind of girl. Um, hmm, it's more, I want to say it's more of like a, I don't know, it kind of smells like polish, <laughs> kind of like having like wood polish in your house like if you've got wooden cabinets or something like the old style cabinets and you would polish them with wood polish that's the kind of sandalwood smell but the bottle uh looks cool i love the fact that it's black and it matches the whole aesthetic it's going for it's not my favorite i must admit but it does look good and like i said you don't know what perfume smells like until you bought it and this is a way I've got like, I don't know, about 50 different um, mini scents now. Now this is the last one, and this is the Nux, Le Matin, and La Soir de Perfumes 1.2 mils. Now there are two in here. Unfortunately, uh, I can't read the world's tiniest writing. Here, look, there are two. Um, but I will put things in the description to tell you more because there isn't a lot on the box we're gonna have to play it by ear but there are two different bottles one is black and one is white and i am hoping they tell me which is which so this looks like it's the la soir one and this is the la matin so we'll do matin first so i don't know what la matin is i'm gonna find out hopefully from the website more information and i will put it in the description so we'll do the la matin one so I didn't know that there were two um, in this, which is pretty cool. So I got two, so I'll end up with six samples now rather than five. I mean, can you complain at that? Hmm. It's got a clean, I see a clean like linen smell, if that makes sense. Kind of smells like water, just plain water. So maybe it's a more subtle, um, kind of under scent if you just want something just to put a hint of perfume to it like if you have a particular job where you're not allowed to like douse yourself in it you can just have like a little aroma it does smell really nice and then the other one is de la soie which is cool so uh let's try this one Obviously, you'd normally spray this on your wrist, but like I said, I can't spray six of them on my wrist. So this one's kind of, um, I want to say stronger, so maybe if you're going out for the night um, or a dinner, it would be more beneficial. This one would probably be more like work. Um, it's 
really nice. It's got that kind of, it does have a floral smell, but it's more like a floral fruity smell. It's very light, but you can smell it more than this one. So I'm going to say that the undertones are lighter in this one and that this one's more overpowering. So you've got like a day and night. So you've got like a day smell for the light one and then a night smell. So you could use one during the day and one during the night. Um, and depending where you work, um, you can accustom the strength of it. Um, so if you work in a supermarket or something, the lighter one, um, you know, if you work from home, you can technically wear whatever you like. Um, but you've got two there. So that's kind of cool to get two. And they've got the same amount in, which is cool. So I got two in that one. So what did I get? So I got six samples, theoretically. I got two in this one, the La Martin and the La Soir. I will try and find more details about this and put it in the description. You've got the Garalian one, which was kind of nice. I wasn't a fan of sandalwood, in all honesty. We have the Good Girl one, which didn't give me any details about it, but I will try and find out more and put it down below again. Then we got the Kieran one, which wasn't the worst one out of the lot. I must say it wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. And then my favourite, obviously, is the Victor and Ralph one. So I would say this is my favourite. And then I would say probably the, the Kieran one. It wasn't the best one, but it's not the most overpowering one. Then I would say the two little Nuxes are really cool. I like that you've got like a day and a night one. Um, then I would say the Good Girl one and then the Sandalwood one just didn't do it for me. It's just too much. It just smells too manly um, and it's a bit strong for my liking. So I, I would say all in all, um, I got some good perfumes. I do perfumes quite a lot from Feel Unique, I must admit. I do get these quite a lot. Um, and I generally do get perfumes. So if you like this video and you want to see more of these, I will link uh, my playlist where you can see more of these. I have been getting more and more perfumes compared to the creams and everything that you can get on there just because I use these more. And with it being so hot, having a bit of perfume just gives you a bit of a nicer smell. Um, it's like 25 degrees today. It was 36 yesterday. So I am kind of dying. Um, but yeah, check out Feel Unique. It's really cool. $3.95. You do get the PMB back in a voucher to spend more on their store. But you can only get this once a month as a pick and mix, which is a shame. But that's the way it goes. But I love this subscription, although it's only once a month and you only have a limited amount but you do have like 200 different samples you can choose from face creams shampoos perfume sometimes they have makeup they have a ton of stuff so i will link that down below as well so you can go straight to their page um and if you want to like this video and give it a big thumbs up that'd be awesome and i'll hopefully see you for another video very soon take care thanks for watching bye